it's Super Macho Jedi Knight coming your way again. I got my camera stabilized, I feel. Yeah, it'll move, but it won't fall off to the side anymore. I like that. I got uh, paints mixed and stabilized. I've got... Oh, shit. I've got inks ready. I've got clean brushes and fresh water. The only thing we got to do is start slinging paint. How is everyone today? How's everybody doing? Every last one of you. How are you? <laughs> ah, I'm feeling okay today. A little bit, mostly. I'm fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. Not many pals running around today. I don't know what I don't know what to make of that, but we'll see. Um, what I'm gonna do? Just try to get some interesting highlights on this thing now. Although I should have done it a little differently. But I'm going to try it nonetheless. Got a tooth rip from my head. Oh my god! Oh shit, there's still stuff in there. <laughs> the marital aid never dies. Well, it died last night, but you know what I mean. So you're good. Okay, you're good. Good is good. Let's try to clean this out a bit more. Get a little bit of water in it. I was trying to prep all this shit, but it's just impossible, you know what I'm saying? Lost a whole page of handwritten manuscript, had to rewrite it today. Oh my god, it's just disasters and craziness all day long. What kind of people are you? Jesus, what kind of life do you live? God damn it. Okay, it looks like that was really it, actually. Oh, no, there's a little more. Well, when you rewrote it, did you re-edit it as well? Did you get anything better out of it? I don't know anymore. <laughs> well, you know, maybe that'll be enough for today. You know what I'm saying? Some days, that's all there is. You think so. You think you got better. All right. Well, that's cool. I have no idea if Voice Guy is going to be joining us tonight. But I can't let that delay the stream. There's things to accomplish. So last night, after the stream, I went looking for <clears throat> ideas for this diorama that's supposed to be part of this. So I'm sitting there, looking at all these ideas, cooking them around in my head, while I'm watching... <laughs> this series about like the worst hotel in the world it's like literally it's like no it's, this place has the highest number of crimes committed in it and murders and deaths in it I was typing it and the computer went to turn the page and it wasn't there oh jeez but voice guy makes the stream oh thanks I, I appreciate that you want to date the guy now? Fuck you. <laughs> it's my stream. It's mine. Fucking coming to me talking about he makes the stream. Shit. I see how it goes. I do. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're killing me. I don't like you anymore. That computer back there, it's mine now. You don't get no computer. Uh, if you're here for the first time, the byplay is better, though. I don't, well, I mean, I don't know. He must have something to do, you know? He didn't mention it, but that's okay. It's not, there's nothing there. I'm looking right at it. Oh man, is this fucking... Is this shit service fucking with my texts again? Yep, it is. Cocksucker! We'll be with you in a minute. This thing just randomly decides, you know what, I'm not gonna receive texts or send them anymore until you restart it or move off to the other side of the room. Piss me off. Now I'm going to get my phone covered in white ink. I'm coming in. I, I, yes, I have tried turning it on and off again. Here we are. Come on. You can do it. There it goes. <sighs> you know, you just can't rely on anything anymore. Invalid meeting ID. Suck a dick. There it goes. Hello, Mr. He Makes the Fucking Stream. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today? happy with that. Remember the voice, the voice, the voice. 
<laughs> She's pulling Doom references on you. <laughs> Doona. Doona. Unfortunate, uh, unfortunately, it goes right above my head. Oh, man. I thought you saw that. With, um, The Rock? Oh, no, Doona. Oh, Doona. Yeah, I saw Doona. <laughs> but re remember, with, with uh, my memory, every ah. time I see it, it's like a new movie to me. <laughs> Oops. I'm looking forward to seeing this one movie where two guys carry around a dead guy for the weekend. Oh. Is that what... Oh, I heard about that one. That could be weekend fun. <laughs> That's something I want to see somebody who hasn't honestly seen it review. That would be I would that would be amazing. I would pay actual cash for that. That or mannequin. <laughs> mannequin. <laughs> I saw a mannequin at the uh, fucking. Oh my god! What was it? The Madison Theater. You remember that? Yeah. I saw Spaceballs there. I saw so many movies there. Oh, Spaceballs is hysterical. You know what else I saw there? That no one's ever going to react to? I would pay real money to see it. Behind the green door? No. I have paid money to see that. And boy, did I react to it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You keep bringing them up, and I keep. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing your white ink memes. <laughs> Soul Man. God, that movie could not be made today. No, oh, fuck no. That thing was. Not only was it absolutely terrible, but that. I mean, that's. That was probably one of the last times they could have gotten away with anything like that. I mean, that's just... That was a hell of a thing to be trying. I mean, it had been 50 years since anybody tried doing blackface on that scale. No, not 50 years. That was the 80s. It had been like 25, 30 years before anybody tried blackface on that scale. That was ridiculous. I'm surprised it got anywhere. And see, see Thomas Howell. I'm surprised he had a career after that. Although, it wasn't much of one. Hey, buddy. I'll be right back. I'm going to go on Twitter and cancel James Earl Jones for even being in that movie. Oh, that's... I. Oh, my God. I totally forgot he was in there. Well, you know, a paycheck's a paycheck. Oh! I'm spewing white stuff everywhere. Show me on the doll where Bill Maher touched you. <laughs> Bill Maher is such a self-important fucking... <laughs> He got up on stage last night or whenever it was or, you know, whenever his last show was. He's like, I'm just over it. I'm over masks. I'm over vaccinations. I'm over everybody being mad. I'm over being scared of everything. Well, you can be over life, too, I guess, if you really want. Because you're going to fucking die you catch that shit. Don't come to us going, I didn't know it was that bad. I am happy that the mainstream, mainstream, mainstream media this weekend, I actually heard, I think it was CBS, because that's the radio station I listened to. They actually said with and from COVID when they talked about um, admissions in the hospital, which is about <clears throat>
Well, that didn't taste good. That scattered back right into my bag. All right, I'm going to let that ink dry, and I'm going to... You know, I had a plan, and now it's gone. I don't... <laughs> I don't remember what I was going to... I don't even have a plot. You don't even have a plot. <laughs> Plans are not really what we do. <laughs> I'm kind of vapor locked as to how I want to paint my guy. Well, do you want them all super pretty, or do you want them, like, all rough and tumble? He's an ancient, man, so he's been around... He's done a lot of fighting, so there's plenty you can make. You can you can battle scar the shit out of them, and I'm more intrigued by what you're doing with your diorama. <laughs> Me too. We'll see <laughs> <what I> can... <laughs> oh yeah, the skeleton. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna start with the skeleton. I think it's already coming out better than my cobblestone street I made. Oh, good. In fact, I may need to cut up that cobblestone street for parts. <laughs> That's funny. But I, <coughs> I was trying to wait till the end of the... I can probably run the Michaels and get another piece of foam. Because I was trying to wait till the end of um, the battle to to recycle some of the parts. I like the color, but it's too thin. I should have let it evaporate a little bit overnight. Yeah, this is currently a, like a gloss. Yeah, how can I thicken this up? Do you have? Matte medium? Um, Dull coat? I got Lamian medium. Is that? Do you know what that is? Is, is that a dull coat? No, it's... Uh, actually, I think it's a retarder thinner. That's probably not a good idea. Right? I got hard coat. Technical hard coat. Hard goat. That's, is that a clear? Do you have anything for dulling down? Oh, that's shiny. Uh, the mat. Where did I put the mat? Yeah, mat coat. I will bet it's in the box one of the cameras is on. <laughs> Which I really got to do something about. Because <laughs> that's stupid. All right, well, you're going to have to excuse me for a minute. <laughs> no, that's gloss. No, I don't. I thought I had, I swore I had Matt. Didn't I? Uh, really? Yeah, I got a bacon soda. No, I don't. I don't I, I, that was just talking out loud. I don't think it would actually work. <laughs> especially, especially, especially for an airbrush. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't going to use it through the airbrush. got the right color it's just too thin Damn just it. make some more at the right consistency <laughs> uh, 
I'll go through that again. It took 30 minutes to do that. Wasted all that paint time. On <laughs> Fine. It'll use up the, it'll use up this white. <laughs> Maracas. <sighs> so how? What is? Whoa! What's everybody gonna do this week? What do they win on a Harry Potter game show? A trophy. Does it look like the uh, Triwizard Cup? Oh, kind of. <laughs> I can already tell this is still too thin. Well, that's just dumb. The house cup, yes. Well, shit. I'm going to leave that out and maybe it'll evaporate a little bit. Crap. Crap on a stick. Get your hair, get your hair dryer out. Eh, that's going to make way too much noise. That'll be ridiculous. I'll just make some more. Let's see. Let's probably call it one, two, three whites. To one fake Ushabdi bone. At least I'm learning this shit now. The whole mixy mixy thing. It was more than I was doing before. You're a late bloomer, it's okay. You ain't kidding. telling me that you were like 25 before you touched a boob. So. That's not accurate. You're off <laughs> by six years. <laughs> Actually, that's... That's pretty right. It is, yeah. Three parts white... One part fake Ushabdi bone, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe four parts white. How about that? As long as I can get rid of this shit paint. I know I've said it a thousand times before, but I really hate getting rid of stuff before it's used up. Unfortunately, so does my housemate, which is why we got to clean out the fridge three times a year.
I think that'll do. So, like I was saying, this, uh, the worst hotel in the world, the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles, in Skid Row, I got stuck, why well, not stuck, you know, I got, I started it Saturday, I watched one episode of it on Netflix, and then I got caught up for three episodes last night, I got to bed so late, so, there's multiple murders in this joint. There's multiple suicides. Terrible robberies. So much bad stuff happening in this hotel. For, like, decades. And then... This one girl from, like, Finland or something. Scandinavia, Sweden? I don't remember. She decides to go on one of those go-find-yourself trips... Where they act like they haven't been in their own mind since they were born. Oh, I don't know what kind of person I am. I should travel around the world and discover myself. Let me guess, she was white. Nope, she was not white. Wow. She was Chinese. Oh, but they have the same problem we do over there. They have a, burg a burgeoning middle class. <laughs> So she's running around L.A. As far as anybody knows, she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke. She does, she's got no real vices, apparently. Parents are in denial. Maybe. But she's from Finland, so who the hell knows? So she turns up missing one day. Nobody can find her for 19 days. They find a, a surveillance tape from the hotel where the last time anybody saw her, she was in a, one of the hotel uh, elevators. Doing weird stuff, making the elevator malfunction. And then she's just gone. And then some of the tenants, 19 days later, start complaining that the water is... Was she in the water tower? That's the one. That's the one. And all these internet sleuths are like... There's a conspiracy, man. She had tuberculosis. She was sent by the Swedish government to spread tuberculosis through Skid Row and de depopulate it. I was like, all right, you need to shut up. Tuberculosis isn't the way to depopulate. Well, if they knew anything, would they be internet sleuths? Good point. <coughs> Although... There's a group of, I saw them on the, um, like the touchy-feely last segment of the 6 o'clock national news the other day. There's a group of divers who um, look at places where the cops haven't looked, and they find tons of cars with people in, with people in them that are missing persons. Oh, Jesus. Kind of like that grad school at Yale, that, or that grad student at Yale that got stuck in the walls. Ah, uh, yeah, that wasn't that long ago. But I didn't catch the last episode, so it's unclear who did it. Oh, it's all about, the whole series is about her? Yep. Oh, interesting. 
interesting. Well, they go into the history of the hotel, and they go into the history of L.A., and there's there's they get so deep around it. I mean, they spread it out a lot. They have a lot of people saying the same stuff over and over again from different perspectives. But they do it in a, a pretty fascinating way. It's, it, it keeps you engaged. That's cool. But now... Now, they think they're closing in on the possible killer, but it's all circumstance. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, did you know Tchaikovsky used that in, in, in one of his pieces? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, really? Yep. I don't even know what it's from. I just, I just know the pop culture noise what are you breaking oh, I didn't break anything I just didn't have my uh, needle slow to clean up the over overage So they came across this guy who may who writes death metal, performs death metal. And naturally those internet slews are like Look at the lyrics after she disappeared, man. Look at his new music. It's got to be about her, right? And these guys are so so conspiracy minded it's ridiculous because <clears throat> they thought they thought the tuberculosis thing because there was a, a tuberculosis project in uh in sweden or wherever no it was supposed to be a new strain of mega tb But it was uh, developed at the same university she went to. And the government's um, handling, their, their, their protocols for handling any TB outbreaks was literally the reversal of her name. So her name was Elisa Lamb. And the program was called Lamb-Elisa. So they're like, well, there it is. That's the end of that. That's, she was a plant. She was supposed to spread TB to Skid Row. But now they ended the last, the, the, the second and last episode on this death metal guy, and I'm desperate to know if it was him. But of course... It couldn't have been because that's just way too fucking easy. You can probably Google the outcome. Yeah, but then what am I going to watch to fall asleep to? <laughs> Although, you know, it's not really that bad a guess with the death metal guy. Because death metal guys do fucking kill people. There was a guy in Norway who killed and ate his bandmate. Ew. <laughs> yeah. The Scandinavian death metal guys are no fucking joke, man. They literally burned down thousand year old churches. And they're not even like... I hate religion, therefore I'm going to destroy the tools of religion. No, they're like, I hate God. I hate the thing himself. So I am going to burn down his tools upon this earth. Interesting. 
Shit's real, son. You can look that shit up. I believe you. I just... It's just it. fucking kooky. It, well, I mean, why would you? You never listen to death metal. I didn't before last year. I still don't, really. I found things like melodic death metal, which is, you know, more like fantasy metal. It's like talking about fucking space wizards and shit. And Gandalf was on Jupiter. (laughs) Space Wizard. Maybe Queen can write that soundtrack. Space Wizard. Let's see, I like... <clears throat> God damn, son. I like fantasy metal. Fantasy metal is the bomb. You should look up Fire Dick right now. Ansel. And I've been taking my antibiotics, so it's not burning as much. <laughs> Go ahead, research division. Dig up Fire Schwanz. You know they say uh, in the uh, in the articles I've read about Fire Schwanz, they say that Schwanz is tail, but nobody uses it like tail. Everybody says that that's German slang for dick. Well, I just learned that Brian Adams' summer of '69 was not about 1969. Uh, you just made that up. All right, well, if that axiom is accurate, you know, what you hear on the internet is true, then you know where I'm going next, right? What? It's dein große Schwanze. <laughs> it's mein große Schwanze. Well, didn't I just say what Schwanz was? Yeah, but I don't pay attention. Oh, well, shit. I'm just here for the fans. Your fans? Did you look it up? Is that what you're going O for? Yeah, there you go. See? Another told me one day I could buy galleys with gold ore and sail to distant shores. Stand up high on the prow. If I had your retention, I would have my freaking doctorate. No. No, 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 no. That's in the chat. That was pasted into the chat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Still. It's like I've never met a group of people like you and your friends who know the names of and the history of the character at, at, of the characters sitting at a table in a Star Wars movie, and then can talk about that, and then go to a, talk about economics. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met people like you, you guys, in, in my life. Oh no, this is the hash of copper.
That's not the one I want. Oh, wait, maybe that's not the one I was. Okay. That's gold. So where the fuck is the... Where's the color I'm looking for? They all... Blended. They all... Just... Crap. They're all buggered up. Now see... What is that if that's not the gold? Hard to paint on this guy. Okay, I'm not talking about this guy's taint. We have in the past. I don't want to now. <laughs> what about his muscular buttocks? How can you even tell through the f <laughs> through the armor? I can only imagine. What about <laughs> what about, what about Sam? <laughs> Dad, my man, how are you? <laughs> Glad to see you thinking about the fucking taint. <laughs> Sam the knee man. <laughs> Yeah, they were all alone. <laughs> and they knew that it was much more than a hunch. That this crew must somehow form a family. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Sure, Jan. <laughs> Everybody! <laughs> Yeah, you'd think that by, you know, 68, 70, that wouldn't have been a big deal. Because Mike was hiding his love for the, his true love for Sam. <laughs> Salami. 
Oh boy. <clears throat> Exactly. <laughs> All right, now I'm trying to figure. Now I'm developing ways to parody that song. <laughs> Although one day when the lady met this fellow on a forum for Leather Daddy subs. <laughs> he said, he said, bring your biggest strap on. <laughs> oh, no. We can peg all night. <laughs> I saw it several times. I saw it several times. I cannot absolutely fucking wait. I want them to produce it now. I want it to be a series that comes out daily. They shouldn't wash that yet. That's right, Daniel Radcliffe. I cannot wait. Right, blue ink. Where's my blue ink? There it is. Bob Crane was the cameraman for their adventure. <laughs> Yes! He was the true hero! <laughs> That's amazing! That's why I keep you around. <laughs> That's awesome, Bob Crane! <laughs> Him and his autofocus. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love every syllable of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one went over my head. Who's up Bob Crane? Bob Crane was Colonel Hogan. However, he had a reputation of making a certain type of home video. Really? Yep. Good for him. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Greg Kinnear played him in a biopic called Autofocus. Oh. Hogan's Heroes. I love that show so much. I'm going to have to buy some discs because I'm extremely disappointed that that's not streaming anywhere. No, not at all. I'm not disappointed. I think uh, Radcliffe is a fine actor. Sometimes he does some weird stuff, but he can afford to do weird stuff because yeah, you I was know, gonna say he, he's got the money to take any to tr take any role he wants. Because he's Daniel fucking Radcliffe. I love the on Kimmy Schmidt.
my god, if the detail on this dude is driving me this crazy. Um, oh, by the way, your main camera is on nothing. What? Oh, no, I, 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 I was getting too... I, I don't want to go down like that. It's... Oh, okay. <laughs> I just looked up and saw cardboard. I mean, some people are here for me, but some people are here for the models. They sure ain't here for me. Still haven't watched that. Part of those videos were cause of his homicide. Yep, that's right. Wait, what? Yeah, he was murdered. Bob Crane was murdered. Oh, no! They killed Colonel Hogan? Maybe it was Schultz. Yeah, look at that. Why is that doing that? That's strange. It's never done that before. Well, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a show of mine if it made sense. Whoa. It is weird. I don't deny that. I don't I don't get it myself. I keep cleaning this thing in the incorrect order. What other weird seventies bizarreness should we talk about? the lady stuffed in the water tower. 93. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 93 was something entirely different. Trying to, what the hell was that? 93. No, it doesn't matter. 2013. Yes, yes, it says kimchi. <laughs> That's my favorite character from Kim's Convenience. You would like the unfunny fat guy. I mean, we share this, we you're share a friend of mine! <laughs> Clear you clean. All right, what can we do? Randomly, my dad will call me, will yell, yell at me, Janet, when I'm over his house, and um, and my mom thinks he's starting to get dementia. <laughs> Janet? Just because he likes the way Mr. Kim yells at his daughter. Janet. Oh, <laughs> Janet! What are you talking? <laughs> you know, you might think that that's... I spent two years in Korea, and I have many, many times heard someone say the exact phrase, What you talking? <laughs> the Katusa said that all the time. <laughs> Damn it, Janet. I love you. 
Oh, it always it always circles back around the Rocky Horror, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. How does this look? Well, that's not so bad. Did you think today sponsored Geritol? Geritol. Oh, that's for your other YouTube channel, my bad. <laughs> You're just mean. Did you realize that? What? I'm a big fan of Geezer at 50. Or Ge Geezer Music or whatever. Alright, you're going to make me say it for a commercial sake, aren't you? Pop at 50. There we go. You have Sundance on your cable system. I have no idea. I watch Channel 8. Oh man, that's that's all messed up. I'm gonna have to replace this. Oh, Hogan's Heroes is on Sundance. Oh. What do you gotta replace? These things. Oh, your wet palette? Yeah. Hogan's Heroes is on Sundance. I'm gonna have to dig out. I'm gonna have to turn on my Roku and see if uh, see what I can do there. Cause if they uh. If they do the same thing everybody else does, then we can, I can plug in the uh, Dish Network ID, and I can start using can start using that. So what's sauerkraut? Sauerkraut is cabbage. Well, kimchi is a lot of different things. Sometimes it's cabbage. Sometimes it's cucumbers. It's it's a lot of different things. But as far as I know, sauerkraut is just cabbage. When we met in his science exam. Made me give you the eye and then panic. Okay, I have made a critical error. There's only four parts to this thing. Well, it's a matter of sequence. And now I might end up breaking something trying to get the sequence reversed. I have screwed up terribly. <laughs> That's terrible. But it's accurate. Well, 
was one of your super one of your um sayings for your old podcasts? A predicament wrapped up in an enema or something? Uh, <laughs> an enigma wrapped in a jackass. That's it. Why are you curious about this? No, it's just reminiscing. I'm going to have to repaint absolutely everything because I screwed up the sequence on this thing. Uh-oh. One, two, three. What are you playing, rock, paper, scissors with yourself? I can never remember the sequence of that either. Although I have a shirt with the diagram explaining it on it. Which should shock no one. I think I know, I know that one. Paper disproves Spock. Lizard can bite Spock. And then um, Scissor can stab Lizard. And paper covers rock. Yeah, there's snow on the way. Lizard or Gorn? <laughs> if the formal name of the game is Rock, Paper, Lizard, Scissors, Spock. Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock. So, technically, it's just a lizard. Although, it would have been far more hilarious if it was, in fact, Gorn. I wonder if anybody brought that to their attention. This stuff really doesn't adhere to the ink very well. This ends so bad when you can't see what the person is doing. <laughs> it's a very good point. Have another biscuit. Bad dogs. 
Stole the biscuit. Who are you to judge me? You humans, you have genocide. You have violence against other races and creeds and colors. And I stole a biscuit? It's a very good point. Have another biscuit. That is the uh, English uh, comedian Eddie Izzard. Who is just, oh my god, he's so goddamn funny. Isn't she goddamn funny? You are correct, sir. I have erred out of habit. I'm going to have to cancel you, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll talk to you when you repent. That is insufficient. That is not canceling offense. You have to be a much bigger dick. You haven't been on the internet, have you? And as we all know, I have a very tiny penis. <laughs> we? How would we know? We don't know that. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> oh, you're just going to pretend that night didn't happen? It was cold. <laughs> <laughs> I just assume it's shrinkage. <laughs> Got yourself out of that one good. <laughs> Survival 101. Right? This thing is delicate as fuck. I dislike it immensely. I really should put him on the base for this, huh? This is getting out of hand. For anybody visiting, you came for the models, but we invite you to stay for the fill. Now, where was I? Oh, where's my box set? Here it is. And instantly the viewership goes down to eight. <laughs> oh, wait. Damn it. Because you were looking for your box? The base is not... The bases are not on there. The bases... Alright, why do I have such a hard time remembering where my goddamn bases are? All of your bases belong to me. All your base, your base, 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 all your base are belong to us. Somebody set us up the bomb. You have no time to survive, make your time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nope, not the right ones. What are you building for this base, pal? The diorama. Oh, 
you're gonna be all secretive and shit. See, I could have sprung it on you, but that, but I kind of wanted you to step it up more than just a guy standing on a wing. That's why I showed. That's why I whipped out the uh, the cutter on stream. I was, I, yeah, yep, yeah, uh, mm hmm, yep. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Well, no, I do. I, I spent an hour and a half last night while I was watching that Cecil Hotel documentary about that poor woman. What about the poor people who were drinking the water? Yeah, the, the poor German tourists who were there. Nope, knew that wouldn't last. <laughs> Where are those stupid... So I went to Michael's to find uh, more cases because... Uh, I am officially out of space in the case I'm using for the uh, Ultramarines and the um, Space Girls together. Space Girls and Sisters? Yeah. And uh, they didn't have any. Piss me off. They have supply issues. I don't know where the hell they are. That might do. It should do. Now, where the hell was I? I was correcting all the mistakes I made. I think these batteries are shot. Oh yeah, they're dead. It used to be I couldn't look into this thing, and now it's like staring right into it. It takes three of them? Jesus. Where's my batteries? Where's my 400 pack of Duracells? Ah, shit, these are triple A's. Never have enough batteries. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. How many marital aids do you have? That one's rechargeable. I only got the one and it's rechargeable. Tell me you don't have one that's big enough to use D batteries. <laughs> no, I'm not Susan from coupling. Buggery. Ah. 
crap. <sighs> we'll just have to wait. Now I don't remember how this went in. There it goes. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Now, where the hell was I? <laughs> you had a small penis? That was 20 minutes ago. It's gotten better now. It is warming up inside. Did you get the kerosene here? <laughs> You know what was a weird flick that just popped into my mind for no reason? Flashdance? No, that was pretty basic. That was there wasn't anything particularly weird about Flashdance. Except the random water that came out of nowhere from the ceiling. That was like Ernest Saints Christmas? No, that was That was just dumb. I don't know. I, I don't really if you I don't know if you can really call it weird if it's just dumb. The dead don't it, die. Oh, was that the Adam Driver movie? Yeah, Bill Murray and Adam Driver, yep. It couldn't seem to make up its mind. You could see where it wanted to be a comedy, but it was failing. And you can see where it wanted to be, where it was a horror movie, and it uh, kind of failed at that. <laughs> you could you could tell exactly where it wanted to go at any given moment, but you didn't necessarily know why. And it didn't it it wasn't necessarily good when it got there. Ah, yeah, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah, I'm kind of fiending on that a little bit, too. I could watch that. This one time at band camp? Have you ever seen Amazon Women on the Moon? No. Oh. My God. I don't know, that might be... I've shown it to a couple of people here and there. And some of them really got into the idea. And some of them were like, This is the stupidest fucking flick ever produced. So the central conceit of it, Forbidden Planet was weird. Forbidden Planet? Forbidden Planet was fine. There was nothing weird about Forbidden Planet. I think you're thinking Fantastic Planet. Because Fantastic Planet was wackadoo.
The weird cartoon one. Yeah, that was Fantastic Planet. That was a French flick. That's why it was so very strange. Fantastic Planet? Planet uh, Fantastic. That makes me think. Did you ever take another language? You know, I th I'm pretty sure you'd remember if you had. I took French <laughs> in like 7th or 8th grade. Oh, in high school I took Spanish 1 for 3 years. That is a pretty poor track record. The teacher was hot. <laughs> Are you telling me you purposely failed for three years just to hang out with a hot teacher? Kind of? Well, I mean, it's a simple yes, no. Wasn't the red balloon French? La balloon en rouge? The one with the little kid chasing the red balloon? Yes, that was French as well. I thought that was it. No, no, no. That just, uh, that's just something. A red balloon was just something that was in it. But the the red balloon was, you know, it was about a kid chasing a red balloon. The first it scared the shit out of me, but the second one was stupid. Alright, now see, you're going to have to clarify that. Because if you mean the 1990 It, that's one thing. And if you mean the first part of the new It versus the second part of the new It. Yeah. That's what you mean? Yeah. It 2 Electric Boogaloo sucked, but the first one was, was creepy. The problem with it is the main thing that most people like about the book is its insane attention to detail of the history of dairy, which you kind of have to gloss over in a movie. For a movie? Yeah, for a movie, yeah. I want to see the Paramount Network or, or CBS, the, that version of the stand, because I love the Molly Ringwall stand. I read the book. I read so many Stephen King books on exercises. There was literally nothing to do. Once we set up the, once we set up the communication vans and the antennas, once we got data flowing, there was literally nothing for us to do. That's true, and it was a, it was a daisy for cell phones. I read so many books on, on exercises. Holy shit. I can't even name them all. The Stand, Tommyknockers... Carrie. I didn't read Cujo. Salem's Lot. I read at least four out of an eight book sci fi series called Sassanac. I can't remember any of the individual books in that series because it was 30 goddamn years ago, but. Well, I mean, all his books are written as scripts first, and then if they don't sell, he makes them in the books, and then he sells them back as movies.
Or at least that was the urban legend a few years ago. Honestly, that's probably not true. Keith Urban! Why the hell are you talking about Keith Urban? Oh, you were saying Urban. A professor, professor and Marianne. three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. Yeah, I couldn't remember how it started. <coughs> well, sit right back and you hear a tale, tale of a fateful trip that started on this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, a skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day on a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost, the minnow would be lost. The ship's aground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle with Gilligan, the skipper too, the millionaire and his wife, the movie star. They leave the only two decent people for the end, like their fucking afterthoughts. The Professor and Mary Ann. Max Moore. Needful Things, The Mist, Sleepwalkers, Lawnmower Man, Langoliers, Maximum Overdrive, The Dark Tower. I read uh, The Dark Half on exercise as well. Alright, that's a little bit... Eh, that's that's a little more corrected. I screwed that up royal, though. Poof.
It's been a pretty good night, I feel. Red Carey when I went to Virginia Beach for the choral competition. I remember that. I sent you there, didn't I? <laughs> Wanted to make sure you didn't miss out on something that cool. I don't think you guys won, though, right? totally forgot that. It was only 25, 27 years ago. Yeah, shit balls. lettered in chorus. I didn't know you could do that. Whereas I never had one lick of musical training of any sort. And it shows. All right, I'm going to start washing this thing, which means the show's almost over. Because that takes a long time to dry. I didn't either till I got it. Where's my Seraphim Sepia? Here we are. Man, you could get high, high off of this fucking panel line stuff. Huffy, huffy.
Did you just look up who's still working there? <laughs> I bet there's even fewer than I knew. He <laughs> just looked at it. See, that's just hurtful. Alexander Graham Bell. George Bush Sr. He's dead, you know that. Yeah, but he's your age, isn't he? <sighs> You ain't that far behind, you little shit. I'm 44, dude. That's a lot. I don't even get AARP junk mail yet. Oh, that won't be long. This brush really doesn't hold the wash very well. Not very much of it. <laughs> Mr. Lamp, Mr. Smith, and Mr. Enoch. That, yeah, none of which I had. Fergola is dead, by the way. idea. Teacher's pension. I'm pretty sure I got, I, I'm pretty sure I started getting AR, AARP junk mail the minute I turned 40. Really? Pretty sure.
<laughs> How often do you check your junk email? <laughs> Often. Oh, the only fans that doesn't exist? Not in your 69 for you. Not you, but you know what I mean. Oh, I think you're covering something up. I'm not trying to solicit you. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Quarter to nine, and I think that's generally a successful night around here for a Monday. So, here's the thing. Tomorrow. No, no, not the thing. It's so cold, I just saw Norris's head walk by. For fans of the thing and winter. Here's the thing. Tomorrow, I'm back. Voice guy is just kind of lame about it because he doesn't hang out but tomorrow I'm playing Diablo 2 resurrected and I'm gonna bring out my bows on and we're gonna go through the storyline and then Wednesday this is what you're really in for on Wednesday that's at 6 30 on Wednesday at 8 p.m. sharp Eastern I begin my first playthrough of the Witcher. So that's dun, gonna be dun, dun. so that's gonna be fun. So make sure you swing by for that. Make sure you follow, uh, you subscribe if you feel like it. Head over to Super Macho Jedi Knight on YouTube. Like and subscribe there. Leave comments. Put on notifications. Ding the bells. All that shit. And Thursday, Thursday releases a new Pop at Fifty, which is my reaction and critique to the current pop hits on the top 40. If you dug the painting, well, you can just hang out and chill until next Sunday where you get three full hours of this same ridiculousness. Is there anything anyone wants to add, voice guy? No need 69 for you at OnlyFans. You know, I'm going to go looking for that and it's not going to be you and I'm going to expose you to the world. <laughs> you gotta pay a cover fee for that. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, you know, the OnlyFans is, you know, that's why you, the, the exposure. But. That's right. Yes, The Witcher. Throw a coin to your streamer. Yeah, I'm gonna put all this shit away now. I uh, hope you enjoyed anything we did tonight. We tried to make you laugh. And if we didn't, I, you know, I just. I think you probably just got a shitty sense of humor. <gasps> Did I just insult the audience? Maybe. If it'll get you to say something. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're lurkers. You can be lurkers. I do not dislike lurkers. Lurkers are fine. Just hang out. Just watch. You don't have to say or do anything. All you got to do is hang out and enjoy. So, got to make that Diablo Day extra special. I don't know how I'm going to do that. If, the, if those lurkers take notes, they can learn how not to make the same mistakes we made growing up. Yes. There's so many mistakes that get covered on this show, whether it's streaming mistakes or marital aid mistakes or, you know, dating mistakes or, you know, any number of mistakes. Just write that shit down and avoid them. But uh, having established all of that, I hope you guys have a good night. And I thank each and every one of you for coming by. And uh, stay cool.